Good morning and welcome to 40 Days of Community at the Way Christian Center. This is Devotional 2 and um, we are spending some time this morning trying to delve a little bit deeper into this conversation about what it means to be an intentional community with God and with one another. I was reminded about a 60 Minutes special that I saw several years ago about people who have a very rare condition called face blindness or prosopagonosia. And people with this condition um, are not able to recognize um, the same faces over and over again. And so if you can imagine not being able to recognize your mom's face or your child's face or your spouse's face or even your own face as you look into the mirror morning after morning, this is what um, people with this condition really deal with on a daily basis. And so they have to rely on other characteristics in order to recognize the people that they love. So they pay attention to people's hair, they pay attention to their style of clothing, their body shape, and even their voice, like how they say the things that they say and what they say. And if I'm honest with myself, I'm not sure if the real flesh and blood Jesus walked into this room today that I would physically recognize who he was. And we find that the disciples were in a similar situation just after the resurrection of Jesus. They were out fishing and they couldn't catch any fish. And Jesus appeared to them on the shore um, where they were fishing and none of them recognized him physically. He gave them a command. He said, cast your nets on the other side of the boat. And they were obedient. They cast the nets on the other side and they caught more fish than they were able to hold. And one disciple, the beloved disciple, recognized who Jesus was. And he says, this is Jesus. And all of the other disciples listened and they saw and they finally were able to recognize Jesus. But the amazing thing is that this one disciple recognized Jesus not based upon how Jesus looked, but based upon what he knew about Jesus, about what it meant to follow a command of Jesus and what the outcome of that was, the sound of Jesus' voice. And what's also amazing to me is that the others in his community, the disciples who had spent so much time with him, who knew him, this other disciple, um, trusted him that when he recognized Jesus, they were able to look and see what he saw. And so this is one of the things that we're really wanting to focus on um, over these 40 days. And as we go into consecration next week, we want to be able to, to really spend time getting to know one another and trusting one another as we move further away from what it means to be divided. Um, we are moving closer to what it means to share stories with each other, to pray for each other differently, to learn about each other's gifts so that we can work together um, in order to transform the places around us. But also as we move into consecration and we move further away from the things that separate us from God, how do we get to know God in a way that even when we can't see God or feel God, we can still recognize that God is near and that God is at work. And it takes time, it takes energy, it takes many points of engagement to do this. And so this is our challenge. As yesterday, we were challenged to be grateful and thankful for everything around us and for the things that are in our lives. I'm also challenging us this morning to make sure that we are being very intentional about getting to know each other and getting to know God um, beyond the things that are sometimes very obvious. And that means digging a little deeper. It means praying a little more. It means being more honest with ourselves and with each other. It means spending more time together so that we can trust each other enough to, to share the things that we need to share, to really get to know each other beyond what we see and the things that are on the surface, the ways in which we often just present ourselves to the world. So this is our challenge and um, I encourage you to take advantage of all of the ways in which we are engaging, engaging this week through live groups, through prayer line, through um, Bible study, um, through other opportunities to serve so that we can make this a meaningful time that expands well beyond these 40 days so that we can really truly begin to create transformation um, in the ways that God is calling us to um, in our families, in our communities, and in this world. Have a great day, and um, I'll see you soon.